anyone who increase the price of bread do not buy from them let them and their children and their women buy their bread but do not buy their buy their bread so a man opened my eyes one time to a reality in this country the man told me just observe just go to the government buildings or any of these government places where they do transactions and just observe properly you will be there for the longest while sometimes you sit down there and nobody will ask to help you but somebody comes in and start making noise start making noise and start dropping some choice curse words complaining about how long he has been in the place and nobody is serving him then you will see how quickly people will come managers and all bosses will come to see that this guy gets served the guy was asking me to open my eyes to that reality and i have seen that the depiction of this thing manifested many times in this place and we have that situation here now concerning the um concerning the price increase in bread and i was wondering why is it that all the sectors in the country are affected post the covid situation and why is it that is only the bread people in recent times getting raises for the job that they do. Did they come and make some noise in the right places? Did they go to the right places and make noise? Use some choice cuss words. And now we see seeing that they're getting an increase in the price of bread. Did the bakers use some choice words your mother this your mother that to get what they're getting right now what we're seeing in this place is a precedent that is being set a precedent that is dangerous to the economic growth of the country what we have now is a situation where in this country Certain subsectors want to give the impression that they are the most important subsectors in the country. In this country, we have seen bus drivers behave as if they are the God's gift to St. Lucia. Every couple of years, it is almost like they want to hold the, the country to ransom. It is almost like a hijack. Bus drivers want to hijack the country. Now I'm in favor of the monies that the bus drivers got the last time. This thing is in order. But I'm talking about previous, like, previous years where they behave like they want to hijack the country. Now we have a situation where the, the bakers behaving as if things are so bad with them. They are the only ones in St. Lucia who cannot survive. Let me draw your reference to the farmers of the country. When was the last time the farmers got any increase? Any increase in the price of plantain or any other thing that they sell? A couple of years ago, even pre-COVID, the small 20 kg bag of fertilizer, NPK, was being sold at Fifty-five dollars, fifty-five EC dollars. The hundred-pound bag was being sold at a hundred and ten EC dollars, thereabout. Now the price has increased. They say as a result of what is going on in Ukraine, the price has increased. Where the twenty kg bag is now a hundred and ten dollars, thereabout, and the 100 pound bags of NPK is about 200 and 
twenty dollars within that vicinity. The price of agricultural inputs has increased tremendously. Yet the farmers are not getting an increase in the price of the um, the commodities that they produce, and there is hardly any reprieve. It is not only in the agriculture sector, there are other sectors. There are other people who manufacture things. One can probably look at um, bread making, depending, depending on how you look at it as light manufacturing, depending on how you look at it. There are people who make all kinds of things in this country, all kinds of different products, there are people that make them. Yet, nobody is getting a raise, an increase but these, but these um, bread people, bakers, behave like they are entitled to an increase. The way I look at it, there should not be an increase in the price of bread. You see, what happens in this country is when people are not feeling the pinch, when they are not feeling the pressures, when things do not affect them personally, they do not care for the most part. There are many, many people, especially ladies who have multiple children going to school. And whereas it is easy for some people to purchase bread, there are people who have to be looking for coins, looking for 25 cents, 10 cents pieces, just to buy bread for their children. And so now, the bakers now, forget about those people. They're only concerned about their well-being and they want to increase the price of those things. It was interesting the last time I heard a baker, a guy who um, on the news, he said he was a baker and he's breaking down the cost of um, the, the amount of, the, the number of ounces that you, you use to make a, a loaf and all of those things. And he's basically saying that the people are making profit as it is. But what happened is, Greedy people will get more greedy if you just give them the opportunity and the leeway to do what it, what, what, what it is that they want to do. So now, people are saying that it is, in, it is in order to give those people a raise. What I will advise people to do, my friends and those who want to listen, anybody who raises the price of, loaf, of the loaf, do not buy, do not buy from them. Anyone who increase the price of bread, do not buy from them. Let them and their children and their women buy their bread, but do not buy their, buy their bread. The other thing is, that is an eye opener, because we being from this, a small country, we should notice and we should realize at this time that we are too heavily dependent on wheat flour. We are too heavily dependent on wheat. There was a time we had a situation where, I think around the time that we had lost the European market, the banana market, the Prime Minister was saying that we should try to produce, um, do things with our bananas. And people made a mockery out of that. They were making memes, sending that to each other on, on um, social media, like this thing was a joke. And to me, that's one of the best ideas that I've heard in politics, in St. Lucia politics in the longest time. We are producing bananas. We have a problem selling our bananas to Europe. There are things that we can do with these bananas where we can generate income, we can keep the, um, the farmers employed. We can keep the money circulating in the country. But what we have is, instead of finding innovative things to do, innovative things to do to prepare our meals, the Prime Minister was advising them to do that and they made a mockery out of it. So right now we have a situation where these, fa these guys, these bakers, want to increase on the cost. And so basically facilitating the continuation of the importation of this wheat flour that we bring in this place. 
So, that's what I want to ask you people. I'm reminding you again. In solidarity with the lady who will not be able to afford to buy the bread at the increased price. In solidarity with the poor people. The lady who has five children going to school. You see the price of, when you raise the price of bread, it will not affect somebody like me. Most, a lot of people, it will not affect them. But we need to come in solidarity with the people who are not able to buy these things. A time, there was a time back when the teachers had, the teachers and other civil service people, they had a protest, they wanted an increase. And everybody was in solidarity with them. People were saying, bite the bite teacher Allah and you, bite the teacher Allah and you. People were in solidarity with the teachers and the other public servants. But there is a, a group, there is a subclass in this country. There is, a, there is a set of poor people that nobody sees. There are some of us who see them because we go around where, where they live. We work with them, we interact with them, so we know of their situation. Some of us help them financially, so we know of their situation. And people are blinded to those things. So when you increase the price of the, the bread, you are invariably affecting these people. Whereas you can survive on the, on the money that you're making right now with, um, when you sell your bread. The problem we have in this country is every subsector think that they are the most important. The, um, the, 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 the bus drivers think that they are the, the top notch. They are the top in terms of importance in the country. Then we have others going now. And we have these bakers now behaving like they're so important we cannot run country, the country without them. For many years, people, for many, many, many years, we have heard this, um, the successive government, they um, make believe that they are, in, they are interested in farming, they're interested in value added, they, they spend millions of dollars, and at the end of the day, there's nothing much that happened. There's nothing much that happened with these projects. So I'm just asking the people who watch this video, I'm asking you to, to join in solidarity with the women and the other men that cannot afford every time to buy bread for their children when you, when you hike the price. And if you can substitute the bread for some other thing, do not buy them people bread. Use cereal, use oats, use some other thing. Incidentally, if it is that you have to, you, you cannot do it without bread, make your own bread. And it's a good thing too. If it is that you make your own bread at your house, you will at least show children and younger people how to make bread. But the, the, you have to come across, you have to come with a way of dealing with these subsectors that this, they believe that by some, some way they are so important in the country. Today, you give the, um, the, the, the bakers an increase in the price. Everybody in the country feeling the pinch. Which subsector will come tomorrow and demand that their they, that they, their rates are supposed to increase also? So what is that? What is that going to do? That is gradually going to bring up the price for services and produce and products in the country gradually. When every subsector demand that they get an increase, and who gets squeezed at the end of the day? They man away. Every political party during election time, their thing is Malawi, Malawi, Malawi. They there for the Malawi. They this and that. Both UWP and SLP. But then when we get in the power, we forget about the Malawi. Because when all these subsectors demand an increase, the people at the bottom invariably will suffer because of that. The, the situation, their plight will be worse than what it is right now. So this is the reason I am asking. The, we cannot, we may not be able to stop them from getting the increase, but we can individually stop buying the bread. Do not buy bread from those people who are going to demand a higher, a, a higher price. And also, we have to find more innovative means of making breakfast, lunch, and dinners from the local produce that we have in the country. Our forefathers were able to have breakfast from the breadfruit that they cooked the night before. 
people were able to make um, different um, uh, porridges from the local things that we produce. Even on this channel, I have shown people how to make um, porridge from some of the things. And this is one of the things I'll be heavily, heavily, heavily focusing on. Different ways of um, presenting, different ways of preparing our local produce. And so, in closing, in closing, what I'm asking you is this. What is going to happen to this country when, the, um, when every subsector in this country is demanding an increase? Farmers now have to pay twice the amount of money that they were spending on a bag of fertilizer. What if they were to demand an increase also? People in all other sectors, what if they demand an increase also? This thing is just opening a can of worms for us in the country. It is just going to make it more expensive to survive in this country. And again, invariably, the people at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder, the, the, the Malawi, the so-called Malawi that everybody say they're interested in during the election time, they are the ones to get squeezed when we when subsectors are allowed to, to just raise the, the, the cost of their goods and their services. People let's think decisively, let's think seriously, let's understand that when you do those things, when you allow this these things to trickle through, you are just going to open up a whole heap of can of worms in the country and it is just going to affect poor people more. Keep the fire burning.